this, when you touch your index finger and your thumb, okay, you see a lot, millions of pictures of me doing this, twice as many moments of me doing this in real life. It's a two million. This is called Gyan Mudra, okay? Seal of Wisdom. Also Jhana, one of the paths of yoga, J-N-A, J-N-A, N-A, Jhana Yoga, the path of wisdom. Jhana Mudra, okay? So to somebody that studied uh, the philosophy of yoga, mudras, um, stuff like this, me, I have never once done this without what I've learned it to be, which is the seal of wisdom. You're kind of making like a full circle with your hand. There's lots of chakras on the end of your fingers. So a lot of times you sit in meditation like this. I've seen a lot of stuff out there that it, it means this or this or like, uh, is affiliated with um, evil stuff. If you're doing it with an evil intention, okay? Everything is subject to the intention that's put forward with the action. Boys and Girls Club, uh, sorry, uh, what is it? Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, they didn't start as uh, places where they attract, anything really good, I think attracts negative forces because negative feeds off positive. Positive is so much more powerful than negative, yeah? So, me being the kind of mentally flexible person that is open always to new information, which it brings my mind to two other things I wanted to bring up. Um, I feel like people are probably struggling with so much information that's yeah, kind of yucky, okay? Um, you know, this, that's throwing deuces for me. I did that since I was like, I don't know, a little punk. Like when I went through my like skater phase and I was 13, we would like always go like this in pictures. Like I have never... I work for God and God only. I have never affiliated, entertained thoughts um, of evil or um, alliance with anything evil. So um, when they show pictures and stuff of like people doing this and then they'll like go to that goat of with like the pentagons everywhere. It's like, no, 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 no. Especially with hip hop. like. That's been a thing forever, and I'm not educated enough, but I'm sure it started with, um, like, you know, maybe it started as like a gang thing, I don't know, but that would be, and I'm not saying gangs are bad, that would be the most, um, if you wanna call it nefarious uh, alignment I would ever imagine, you know, with this. But I'm seeing like videos, and it shows like, you know, like, most dad like just like different people um it also means peace peace you know like don't show me a picture of rob low like this and then he's in the illuminati he probably is or isn't i don't know but that's not that's not cool because it makes uh, people like me or anyone like the point is that it's not just yoga it's not just uh silly stuff in general in life. So that's a tree, right? Gyan Mudra, uh, the peace sign, that whole little um, micro conversation about symbolism. And then the forest would be like everything, you know? Um, the way that you do anything is the way that you do everything. And if you do things with love, that's what the energy feels. The energy doesn't feel what you say. The energy doesn't feel what you want. It feels what you do. And it responds and aligns with you, right? So it's literally impossible and defies all universal laws to be like a drastic example. Uh, everyone hates me, everyone hates me, I'm the worst. 
Like this funk energy is never going to vibrate with, let's say, the man or the woman. I, I'll be that woman that was sitting in her or his. Okay, we'll call it a woman. So her partner being a lesbian uh, or a, another man who's vibing high, you know, uh, you know, making the making a life for himself, showing up through habits and actions. Remember, each moment is just a decision away from changing your life completely. Wherever you are, it's just one decision, big or small, towards changing your life completely. No one is stuck. I am telling you, there's no one on this in America that can tell me they're stuck. Because I have been thrown to the wolves with freaking meat taped on my body and then kicked and like, you know, the wolves encouraged and I made it out. And I made it out with zero bitterness, zero like uh, wounds that I haven't healed from other people that I'm gonna bleed on the next person who didn't hurt me. That's a quote broken up, but it's uh, heal the wound, heal your wounds so that you don't bleed on those who cut you. Um, a little bit off track for this, uh, for the purposes of this, but I, I mentioned this in a video before, like the really wealthy guys, really wealthy guys in India, um, you know, paying certain uh, monies, offerings to the different deities or gods in India, the dudes sending their servants to go put two grand at the puja or the, you know, what, wherever they're, giving their spiritual offering, thinking that that's gonna clear their spiritual karma. It doesn't work like that. The driver gets that karma, you know what I mean? Um, so every, it's almost like as well, introducing, it's not introducing, but me talking about for the first, the little second time, talked about in the video before, but imprint, imprint, imprinting, things can exist concurrently that are true that are seemingly opposite example um, okay that's a different video because I don't want these videos to get too long I wouldn't like I had a second where I was like have I been teaching people devil signals for, or whatever for 16 years no Okay, if they use similar symbolism, no one in my presence has ever been around the energy of um, evil or maleficent intent or anything like that, nor have I. I've, I've never harbored that energy. The only energy I'm working on that, that feels unhealthy right now and just needs to be transmuted is and I catch it, it's like there's still people that exist that have hurt me so bad, but I still love them. And I still want them to know I love them. And I still want, I think, to have a relationship with them. But to be totally honest with myself, and I always must be, there's like pain that's like, I've forgiven and I've, I am grateful for everything I have, everything I don't have, everything's happened to me, everything that has not happened to me is a, a blessing and I thank God every moment. It's overwhelming a lot sometimes. Even just thinking about someone in a beautiful way. If you're scared to call them, if you're scared to this or that or that. We're moving towards a situation that is globally understood and accepted, but a lot of us have already known that this is not a five senses world. You feel what's going on. It's not a coincidence that you're thinking about someone and they call, everyone knows that stuff. 
just as easily as we can hone in on pra and practice on that kind of stuff once our vibration is higher and you know all this stuff is gone it's also just as easy to check out of that that's why present moment conscious present moments awareness sustain is so imperative for us to move forward because it's so easy to get distracted to get distracted and then goes the golden thing of one decision away from changing your life it goes both ways and before people start doing stuff that they cannot undo I think it's really important to reevaluate the stuff in here make sure you're operating with an updated system of information and that you're moving with your own free will. And you can feel that. Am I being pushed? A very quick, easy way to always do this. Is this true for me? Close your eyes and go up and down. Is this true for me? Your body will never lie to you. Or what? 